Dakota first. One building stood for just over 100 years before the city of Madoc considered tearing it down. Five years later, though, the building is still standing. PJ Walker explains how one man is keeping history alive. People always comment, too, is how you know they really think it's, uh, it's awesome that I did this. And they kind of wonder how why I would do it. You know, I mean, why would you want to do that? And I, I really don't know. It's just something that's burning in me. In 1906, two men built a building in Maddox, North Dakota. Originally, it was used as a hospital in a girl's dormitory. As the years went by, talks of tearing down the building were in the air. But not if Beamer could help it. We're losing all these areas and, and losing all these buildings. And, and people aren't maintaining them. So it was... It was a little historic, and then it was sort of a desire to to make something, you know, that bring it back to life. In 2014, Corey and his wife brought the building and began the renovation process of what is now the Grand Prairie Inn. Currently, we have three hotel rooms. They're small, one room with a bathroom, kind of a one-bedroom apart um, room that they can people can come and rent for the night, uh, short term. And we have three apartments right now that are long-term rentals. Over the past four years, he's worked on the first and second floors of this historic building, and now he's moved his way up to renovate the attic to a studio apartment. It's a 14-foot-high uh, peak apartment, open concept, uh, kind of what we see on on all these TV shows now, they like the open concept. He hopes to have the space completed this winter, and by doing so, he'll add another page to the history book. P.J. Walker, KX News. And for more and to plan a visit, check out our website, kxnet.com.